Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today I'm doing a video which I do every single year. You guys love it. And it's going through the out of contract Luton Town players and giving you guys my thoughts on whether or not I would keep those players at Luton. Now this summer we've got quite a lot of players out of contract and I think it's going to be one of our biggest like transfer windows in a very long time at the football club, you know, especially under the ownership of 2020. Now, the reason for this is because we're finishing the top half of the championship. We don't want to go backwards. So for us to go forward, we need to invest correctly and make sure we bring in the right personnel to the squad for us to then progress for the next season. You know, I'm pretty sure the management team and the ownership want to finish in the top 10. So you know, we've got high expectations at the club, we've got big ambitions. You know, the future is very bright at Luton, but we need the right players to help us take us to the next level. And will these players who are currently out of contract going to do that? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through the players that I think, well, go through the players that are currently out of contract now and give you guys my views on whether or not I would keep them at the club. So the first player which we are going to talk about is Sonny Bradley. Now, Bradley has had a lot of rumours um, like flying about on social media recently. There's rumours that he has refused the latest contract offer. That's not 100% certain. Like I said, it's just a rumour. But that's what's been currently out online at the moment. Would I keep Bradley? Yes. Bradley, for me, is a first-choice left-sided centre-half. They're quite hard to replace. I would keep him. I do think he's the second-best centre-back at the club behind Tom Lockyer. So I would keep Bradley, but I would also want to improve on that area as well. But because it's a really tough position to recruit in, a left-sided centre-half, we may find that really challenging to do. But it's nice to have a player there, just in case, you know, if we can't find that right player for the team. So I would 100% keep Bradley. I think he's a solid centre-half. I think he's more consistent than Matty Pearson. I think the way he's a lot better than like playing the ball out from the back, you know. So I would keep Bradley. He's had a very good three years at Luton, you know, winning promotion to the championship, keeping us up, and then improving us. So yes, I would keep Bradley at the club. I would probably offer him a two-year deal. He's around 29 years old. I don't think we would offer him a three-year deal like we did the first time, but I do think we would offer him a two-year deal. So up until the point of him being 31, he's currently 29 now. The next player which we're going to look at is Matty Pearson. Will I keep him at Luton? Now, I'm not Matty Pearson's biggest fan, I have to admit that, but I do think he's a good squad player. Obviously, he's a right-sided centre-back, and he can also play as a right-back, but I would keep him. I do think he's a solid squad player. I feel like Tom Lockyer is a better centre-half than him, so he would obviously play ahead of Matty Pearson. So, yeah, I would keep Pearson just to be there, a backup, you know, in case players get suspended or injuries, you need to have good backup players. And I feel, well, I personally feel like Pearson's a good backup choice. So, yes, I would play, I would keep Matty Pearson at the club. We could offer him more, like on a three-year deal because of his age. He's, he's obviously a lot younger. But um, I do reckon we would offer him a two-year deal. So, yeah, I would keep those two players at the club. Next up, we have James Collins. Well, I keep James Collins. Now, I'm 50-50 on this because I don't really care if he does go. Although he's had a very successful time at Luton, and don't get me wrong, I've, you know, I highly like praise him for that. You know, all those goals in League Two, League One, you know, even some of the goals in the Championship, they've they've helped us, you know. But I don't think he can get to that next level. I think we've got the finished product with James Collins. I don't, I can't see him scoring twenty goals a season in the Championship. That's just my opinion. So if we were to release him, I wouldn't be too disappointed. I don't think he would go to a better club. I don't think a better club would go in for him. Like The reason for that is because of his technical ability. I don't think it's the best. And as we've seen so far this season, well, yeah, throughout the, of, yeah, of this season, he misses a lot of big chances. So I can't... In a real world, I don't know if we would offer him a big deal. I do have a feeling that we would offer him a two-year deal, but I'm not really too bothered if he goes. You know, I do feel like we could replace him with a young, hungry striker like we did with Ali Bayo. I do feel like we can find another one anyway. And plus, we're going to have to look for another striker because 
as I will mention later on in the video, the likes of Danny Hilton, Elliot Lee, like, will they stay at the club? So, I'm 50-50 on Collins, but I'm not too bothered if he goes or if he stays. Next up we have is George Moncur. Now, I would keep Moncur at the club. Moncur, for me, is a big game player. I feel like set pieces, he's vital at, free kicks, he's deadly. The problem with Moncur is he can't last 90 minutes. You know, you get a good hour out of him or you get him really good when he comes off the bench. That's what you get with George Moncur. You don't get a 90-minute player. And that's a, a little problem which I've noticed since we've signed him at the club. Nathan Jones doesn't really like to play him that often. We've seen it plenty of times this season. He has spells in and out of the side. And I do think it's because he doesn't offer that defensive side of his game. Although that has improved this season, can it improve more in future seasons? I'm not too sure. But I feel like because he can't last 90 minutes and the defensive side of his game isn't the best, I don't know if the club would offer him a new deal. Me, I would, because I do think he's better defensively than Lawalawa, but I'm not too sure if we would keep him. But for me, I would give him a two-year deal. I feel like he's a good squad player. Definitely someone who can cause problems, especially at this level. Next up we have is Martin Craney. Now, I do think we will release Martin Craney. He's been a good... He's been useful, Martin Craney, since we've signed him. You know, he's played centre-back, left-back, fits centre-mid at times, right-back as well. He's been useful, but because of his age, he's too injury-prone. We've got Kiyoso coming back from his loan deal. You know, we're looking for the future. We want young, hungry players. Craney's not going to take us to the next level. Now he's towards the end of his career. So I do think Martin Craney will get released at the club. Right, so next up we have is Dan Potts. Now, Dan Potts, for me, his heading ability is one of the best in the team. Going forward, he's dangerous from set pieces. Defending them, he's quite good as well. But what lets him down is he's too injury prone. And I don't know if we will keep him. I really don't. I think Cal Naismith defensively is a lot better than Potts and I do think Naismith is a lot better going forward than Dan Potts so I just can't see Potts staying at the club if I'm being honest I feel like we'll find someone a lot younger than Potts who has a much better future so I wouldn't be too disappointed to see Potts go I think he's had a great well he's been very successful obviously at Luton you know with the two back-to-back -back promotions However, I just don't see Potts taking Newton to the next level. Great in the air, but he gets too many injuries and that lets him down too much. So, yeah, I don't think I would let... Well, I don't think I would offer Potts a new deal. Next up we have is Tony Cliff. I think everyone on the channel has heard my views on Tony Cliff throughout the last two years. And let's just say I don't think he's done enough. Yeah, at some points during this season, he had a good spell, but that doesn't warrant a new deal in my opinion. I think if you look at Tunnicliffe's career, he's pretty much gone downhill. You know, he hasn't really progressed at any point, you know, from the likes of being at Manchester United. It's just slowly going down. It's declining. I can see him going to a newly promoted championship side or going to a top league one side. I just can't see him staying at Luton. He's good on the ball, don't get me wrong, he's a good passer, good technical ability, but I do think we'll find someone better than him. So, yeah, I can't see Tony Cliff staying at the club. He would be a good squad player, but it depends if Tony Cliff wants to be a squad player. But I just, I'm not a fan, let's just say that, and I don't think we'll see him at Luton, and I wouldn't keep him at the club. Next up we have is Loa Loa. Now, I wouldn't keep Lawalawa. For me, in front of goal, he isn't clinical enough. He isn't consistent enough. I also think he has the same problems with Dan Potts, where he gets injuries quite often. And he's also very similar to George Moncur. He's not a 90-minute player. He struggles. I personally feel like he does struggle with 90 minutes. And also the defensive side of his game, I don't think he's the best at either. So... I can't see us keeping Loa Loa. I think he's at that age now. He's a quite high earner as well. So, yeah, I just can't see Luton keeping him at the club. He doesn't offer enough going forward. He's dangerous, don't get me wrong. But in front of goal, we need him to do more goals and more assists. And since being, at, well, since being in the championship, 
he hasn't really done that. You know, obviously in League One, he's very good at doing it. But I think that's maybe just his level. You know, in League One, that's where he gets his goals. That's where he finds his feet. Just not in the Championship. I just don't see him scoring. You know, he needs to have more than 10 goal contributions a season. And he's just not doing it. And finally, the last player we're going to talk about is Galloway. Now, the injury has played a massive part to why we haven't seen Galloway during his time at Luton. You know, he, he took a massive like wage deduction from Everton to sign for us. And we just haven't seen the best out of him, really. I thought when I did see him like play often, well, in those odd minutes he did play for Luton, I thought, oh, we, we've got a good player here. But the injuries, have, it's just an issue with him. And he needs to get that out of his game and try and sort it. Yeah, OK, there's not much you can do when you have a massive injury like he did against Brentford. But did he recover properly? You know, Is he keeping himself fit? Is he looking after himself? Those are a few question marks which I actually have on him. And there's rumours going around in January he actually failed a fitness test to go to Shrewsbury. So it just shows you that it, how well is he looking after himself. So, yeah, I wouldn't be keeping Galloway at the club. Now, there's a few players at Luton which are rumoured to be out of contract but have an option in their deal whether or not we can extend it by a year. So the likes of Pelly. And Luke Berry, there are two players that have a year option within their deal. So at the moment, they're not out of contract because they've got an option to extend by a year. But um, yeah, so Luke Berry and Paddy Roddick are two players that have that option. I don't know if there's more players in the team that also have that option, but it's Paddy and Luke Berry. I think Paddy will stay at the club. I do think we will renew that one year. Paddy's a massive part of Luton. And I can definitely see Paddy staying. Luke Berry. I actually do like Luke Berry. And I think Nathan Jones does as well. But he needs to offer more going forward. In my opinion, Luke Berry. And hopefully we can start seeing that in future seasons. But I do also think Luke Berry will stay at Luton. He's also a good squad player as well. So yeah, I can definitely see those two players staying at Luton. And then two players that have gone out... Well... Another player which has been at the club but had, well, has had injury problems is Danny Hilton. I do think we'll get rid of him, if I'm being honest. I think it was, was a, a wise decision to give him a two-year deal. But, um, yeah, Danny, it's just injuries now. He's getting to that point in his career where he's just suffering too many injuries. He isn't really... Well, he hasn't scored in the championship yet, so... I don't. I can't see Danny staying. He's he had a good time in League Two and in League One. He struggled a little bit. I just can't see Danny Hilton staying at Luton. I do think he will go. And then regards to Elliot Lee. Now Elliot Lee is a strange one because, as I don't know if any of you guys have noticed, but Elliot Lee at Oxford United has been smashing it for him. He's in the playoffs with Oxford and he's doing really well, getting goals and assists for them. And they may want to sign him, especially if they don't go up. So, it's just, it's just a weird one because I feel like with Elliot Lee, there's spells with, within the team that he does wonders, but then there's spells where he goes missing and you just don't notice him. He's really hard to work out as a player, um, Elliot Lee, but yeah, I don't think we'll keep Elliot Lee at the club, if I'm being honest. So, the players that I would keep at Luton are Bradley, Pearson and Moncur. I am... 50-50 with Collins. To be fair, I wouldn't mind if he goes and I wouldn't mind if he stays. You know, so you can say that's maybe four players that I would keep there. I think we're already Craney, Potts, Tony Cliff, Lawalawa and Galloway. So that's five players which I do think will go. And also I do think the likes of Hilton will go and also Elliot Lee. So you're looking at around six to seven players that I do think will leave Luton this summer so there you have it guys those are the players that i would keep at luton for next season let me know down below in the comment section of this video who would you keep at the club and let me know why subscribe to the channel if you are new don't forget to drop a like on the video if you obviously did enjoy it don't forget to follow me across all my social media as well if you haven't done already and i'll see you guys in the next video